Jason Carey, and you're about to experience something very special. I'm going to introduce you to somebody who's not only very funny, but he also has a great message for you. Nice kid, 15 years old. <laughs> this kid had so much metal on his face. Hooks, pins, earrings. And, you know, and I said, did you get through security okay like that? He said, yeah, I got through security okay. And I, he goes, why? And I said, because it looks like you fell in the tackle box. <laughs> Every time I looked at him, I, I kept seeing... All I saw, and I counted, I kid you not, 10 rings on one brow. He had 10 rings. And all I kept thinking of was shower curtain. That's all I kept thinking of. You know, and I was like, what is he, like a modern day pirate with a little flap? I R I R. When I first met him, he was a stand-up comic. And now he's a speaker who's been inspiring people all over the world. If there was anything that I would love for you all to walk away with more than anything else in the whole time that I'm up here, is the fact that you know that you have the power to experience any challenge in your life from a healthier perspective. He's a friend of mine, proud to be here. Please welcome Steve Rizzo. Did you notice my choice of words? I didn't say some challenges. I said any challenge. And how you experience the challenges in your life, my friends, are by the thoughts that you keep programming in your brain day in and day out. This is the third attitude for success. Contrary to what most people may think in this room, it is not the situation, it's not the circumstance, it's not the event that takes place in our lives that determines our quality of life. It's the thoughts that we have about it. And you want to know why? Because your thoughts about that challenge will either minimize or maximize the effect that that challenge has on you. If there is anything that is going to keep you from being productive and successful in your life, it is 100% because of negative self-talk. If you want to know why your energy level is down here as soon as you're starting out the day when it should be up here, it's because of negative self-talk. If you want to know why you're having difficulty enjoying yourself during the process of whatever it is you're trying to achieve, it's because of negative self-talk. You literally have to stop and think about what you're thinking throughout the course of the day because those thoughts are formulating your belief system. I always wanted to get pulled over by a cop. Roll down the window and go, you're not going to check the trunk, are you? <laughs> why not? Some of the happiest, most successful people that I know had to overcome insurmountable odds to get to where they are right now. In fact, some of them are going through some major stuff right now as I'm talking to you. But they all have this incredible way of shifting perspective. That is to say that they allow themselves to temporarily step away from those situations that are causing them pain or bringing them down. And they immediately start focusing their attention on what's working in their lives instead of concentrating and staying fixated on what isn't working. They bless the things that life has given them instead of cursing the things that life hasn't given them or cursing the things that life has taken from them. And they all have this uncanny way of finding the laughter in between the pain. They don't ignore the pain. They don't run from the pain. They simply find the laughter in between the pain. We all... We all have the power to do this. This is what I call a power shift in focus. Yes, I'm online, I'm at Kmart, everyone's looking at me, took off my shoe, put it by my ear, and I went, hello, chink. <laughs> yes, it's Max. Well, I'm at Kmart, and apparently the woman behind the register is a spy. <laughs> How can I tell? She has a bug up her butt. I had everyone in this line in tears, hysterical. As a matter of fact, the guy in back of me said, Hey, can I use your shoe? I have to call my wife. You know, you cannot stop life from throwing stuff at you. You can't. It's impossible. You cannot stop the unexpected from interfering with your goals and your dreams. But you can always choose how to respond once these things are thrown. You can always choose the state of mind you want to be in once these things are thrown. You need to understand that your entire life is based on the choices that you make. And for every single choice you make, whether it's made consciously or unconsciously, there is a consequence. In fact, I'm looking at you all right now. Where you are at this point in your life is based on choices that you made at some point in the past. Those choices are the key factors that determine the quality of life that you have right now, personally and professionally. This is so important. Because today, more than any other time in the history of this planet, you need a healthy attitude. 
A healthy attitude gives you resilience, the ability to bounce back, to deal with the ratio of no's that outweigh the S's, with the constant change that's always taking place in our lives. Do you want to know what kind of an attitude we need today? I kid you not when I say this, we need a New York attitude. And you want to know how to acquire that New York attitude? I kid you not when I say this. Look at your cat. Every cat on this planet has a New York attitude. Am I right? How many people have cats in this room? Raise your hand, am I right? Cats walk around like they are nature's gift to the animal kingdom. If cats could talk, they go, meow, meow, bada bing, meow. <laughs> My friends, we have just briefly gone over the attitudes for success. And I'm going to make a promise to you right here and right now. I promise you. You start implementing these three attitudes right now, within a week to two weeks, you will start noticing a major power shift on how you view the challenges in your life. You people are absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very, very.